Good morning. This is your friend Velma Hagar from Hidden Treasures in Secret Places, my little book on Amazon.com. Don't forget to get it. You know, I have to tell you a, a little story. I, I'm sure that most of you know by now that my brother is Sammy Hagar, the Red Rocker. And I heard him say something the other day that I thought was so profound that I thought, you know, I've got to do a blog on that. And but before I do that, I wanted to tell you, so many people ask me, what is it like to be Sammy's sister? Well, let me just do a little quick rundown on that. Sammy is a unique individual person. He's everything you see. He's full of life. He's full of energy. He's got a lot of wisdom, even though he's not, he's not a Bible. He doesn't read the Bible that I know of. I, if he did, it's very small. But he is a believer. And he comes up with things sometimes that are so wise. And this was something I heard him say, and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do a blog on that. But to tell you what it's like to be his sister, on one hand, it's been, what a journey. I have to say this, what an amazing journey it's been. On the other hand, I miss having a brother who is more available because of course he's always touring and everybody clamors to be with him and if we go out somewhere to eat everybody's around you know so on that hand i it, it's been hard on the other hand the perks are amazing being sammy hagar's sister i mean when people find out they're just oh my god you're sammy's sister i mean some people just go off the deep end you know they think i'm a celebrity and so i've enjoyed that you know i always say he's my big claim to fame and that's been fun but with that said, I want to get on with this. When he was on, I think it was Howard Stern, and, and people always send to me when they see him on something, and they send it to me, and, and, and the guy was said to him, well, you look so young for your age. Uh, what do you attribute that to? And Sammy said, you know, I had an older guy one time that was quite a bit older than me, and he told me something I never forgot. He said, Everything you keep in your head will eventually show on your face. And I thought, wow, you know, there is so much merit to that. Because the scriptures say, you know, as a man thinketh, so he is. I always say, you know, well, I'll finish telling you what Sammy said. He said, so I never let anything that's ugly stay in my head. And I thought, you know, that is really good. That's really, really good. Every one of us need to remember that. Now, along with that, I want to tell you that genetics have a lot to do with it, and I don't know why genetics are so powerful, but they are. And there is a youthfulness in our family that is, I thank God for. But I believe that what he said was so powerful. If you get thoughts in your head that you think are going to make your face ugly, oh, just stop it. You know, I had this girl that moved across the street from me, and she was just darling when she moved in. And she had this guy come live with her and they fought. Oh my God, they used to fight and swear and she said awful things out of her mouth. And one day I went over there and I told her, I said, I'm gonna tell you something. You look downright ugly. You used to be pretty. That stuff that's been coming out of your mouth has made you ugly. So, you know, it will do that. I mean, if you get those thoughts in there and then you let them come out your mouth, you're in trouble. So stop it. If you've got thoughts in your head, cast, the word says, cast down all wild imaginings that exalt themselves above the word of God. That is a really good word for you today. Don't let ugly thoughts stay in your head or you're going to get ugly like that girl across the street. She was so cute when she moved in until she got that guy in there and started yelling with him. I mean, and it's true. You, you, you've seen it happen. So it's bad enough to have those thoughts in your head, but eventually they will come out your mouth. And when they come out your mouth, you, you just, you, you actually um, poison your own body. You poison your own body with it. And, and the word says that the, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So when you keep something in, it's gonna come out sooner or later. And when it comes out, power of life and death. Isn't that good? I thought that was so good. I might even send this to Sammy so he can see how good it was. <laughs> he knows it's good, that guy. Isn't he something? I just love him. 
Now, if you haven't got my book, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places, you do need to get it. It's full of little treasures. What I did in studying the Bible for absolute years, I pulled out these little things that I call uh, pearls of wisdom, little nuggets, little gold nuggets. They are the Word of God, and I put life application on them. I tell you how they operate in today's world, because you know the Bible was written over 2,000 years ago, the old, the New Testament, the Old Testament was longer than that. And so, you know, some of the things are antiquated, but none of it is not applicable to today's world. Every bit of it is applicable. But sometimes you have to transmit it over or, or, or translate it over, I should say. All right, you guys. Again, that's Velma Hagar, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places. And don't forget to buy my book. And don't forget to dump that junk out of your head so that your face will stay pretty. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.